Welcome back to our channel today, we embark on a fascinating journey into the world of numismatics, as we delve into the story behind one of America's most iconic coins, the 1964 Jefferson Nickel. The Jefferson Nickel holds a special place in American history, and the 1964 edition is no exception. Produced during a time of great change in the United States, this coin carries with it a unique blend of artistry, history, and value. Designed by Felix Schlag, the obverse of the 1964 Jefferson Nickel features a profile portrait of President Thomas Jefferson, while the reverse showcases his famous home, Monticello. But what sets the 1964 Jefferson Nickel apart from its counterparts? It's all about the silver content. Unlike later editions, the 1964 version contains a composition of 90% silver, making it a prized possession among collectors. Over the years, the value of the 1964 Jefferson Nickel has soared, driven by its rarity and historical significance. Today, a well-preserved specimen can fetch upwards of $37,000 or more in the collector's market. To gain further insight into the value and history of the 1964 Jefferson Nickel, I spoke with, expert's name, a renowned expert in numismatics. The 1964 Jefferson Nickel is a true treasure for collectors. Its silver content, coupled with its limited mintage, makes it highly sought after. As time goes on, its value only continues to appreciate. And there you have it, folks, the story of the 1964 Jefferson Nickel. A symbol of American history, a testament to craftsmanship, and a valuable asset for collectors. Thank you for joining us on this numismatic journey. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of numismatics with a special focus on the 1991 Jefferson Nickel. Join me as we uncover its history, its value, and why it's creating quite a stir in the collector's market. The 1991 Jefferson Nickel holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. Minted at the United States Mint in Philadelphia, this coin features a portrait of the third president of the United States. Thomas Jefferson, on the obverse side, and Monticello, Jefferson's Virginia estate, on the reverse. But what makes this particular coin so intriguing? Let's talk numbers. While millions of these coins were minted in 1991, a select few have captured the attention of collectors due to their unique characteristics and rarity. What we're looking for are coins with certain errors or variations that make them stand out from the rest. This could include off-center strikes double die errors, or even certain mint marks that indicate a specific minting location. Indeed, it's these quirks of production that can turn an ordinary coin into a sought-after treasure. And when it comes to the 1991 Jefferson Nickel, one particular specimen has been making headlines. That's right. A 1991 Jefferson Nickel recently sold for a staggering $28,000 at auction. So, what sets this coin apart from the rest? This particular coin exhibits a rare combination of errors, including a double die obverse and a repunched mint mark. These factors, coupled with its pristine condition, make it a true collector's gem. But even if you don't have a rare gem like the $28,000 nickel, don't despair. The 1991 Jefferson nickel still holds value for collectors and enthusiasts alike. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or just starting your collection, this coin is a piece of American history worth cherishing. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for joining me on this numismatic journey. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics with a special focus on the 1999 Jefferson 5-cent coin. Have you ever wondered about the value, history, and worth of this tiny piece of American history? Well, you're in for a treat. Let's delve into it. First things first, let's talk about the value of the 1999 Jefferson 5 cent coin. While most of these coins have a face value of 5 cents, certain rare editions or minting errors can skyrocket their worth. In fact, some collectors have paid upwards of $29,000 for certain rare varieties of this coin. So, if you happen to have one lying around, it might be worth taking a closer look. But what makes these coins so valuable? To understand that, we need to take a quick trip down memory lane and explore the history behind them. 
the Jefferson five-cent coin, commonly known as the nickel, has a rich history dating back to its inception in 1866. The 1999 edition pays homage to Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States and one of the founding fathers. Designed by artist Jamie Frankie, the reverse side features Jefferson's Monticello estate, a symbol of his architectural legacy and contributions to American society. Now, let's talk about why certain editions of this coin are worth a small fortune. Minting errors, such as double strikes, off-center strikes, or missing mint marks, can significantly increase a coin's value among collectors. Additionally, coins with low mintage numbers or those in pristine condition fetch higher prices at auctions and among coin enthusiasts. But it's not just about the monetary value. These coins also serve as tangible artifacts of American history. Each coin tells a story, whether it's the meticulous design process, the journey from the mint to circulation, or the hands it passes through over the years. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or simply curious about the world of numismatics, the 1999 Jefferson 5-cent coin offers a fascinating glimpse into America's past and its enduring fascination with currency. Thanks for joining me on this numismatic journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin-related content. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting, and in particular, we're going to explore the intriguing story behind the 2001 Jefferson 5 cents coin. So, grab your magnifying glass and let's get started. The 2001 Jefferson 5 cents coin holds a special place in the hearts of coin enthusiasts. But why? Well, let's uncover its value, history, and why it's worth its weight in gold, or should I say, in nickel. Now, let's talk about value. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin can fetch quite a sum on the market. In fact, some versions of this coin have been known to sell for upwards of $47,000. But why such a high price tag? To understand the value of the 2001 Jefferson 5 cents coin, we need to delve into its history. Released as part of the United States Mint series honoring Thomas Jefferson, this coin holds significance not just for its design, but for its rarity. Take a look at this design. On the obverse, we have the iconic portrait of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. And on the reverse, we have Monticello, Jefferson's historic plantation home. But it's not just the design that makes this coin special. You see, in 2001, the United States Mint made a change in the composition of the Jefferson 5 cents coin, transitioning from the traditional copper nickel alloy to a new alloy containing 75% copper and 25% nickel. This transition was short lived, making coins minted with the new composition relatively rare. Combine rarity with historical significance, and you have a recipe for a valuable collectible. Collectors and numismatists alike are willing to pay top dollar to add this piece of history to their collections. So, there you have it folks, the story behind the 2001 Jefferson 5 cents coin. From its humble beginnings as legal tender to its status as a prized collectible, this coin exemplifies the intersection of history, art, and value. Who knew that something as simple as 5 cents could be worth so much? Thanks for joining us today. And until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of numismatics, focusing our attention on the intriguing 2008 Jefferson Nickel. Join me as we explore its value, delve into its rich history, and uncover whether this coin is a hidden gem in your collection. First things first, let's talk about the value of the 2008 Jefferson Nickel. Rumors have circulated about a rare version of this coin fetching an astounding $48,000. But is it true? And what factors contribute to such a hefty price tag? The 2008 Jefferson Nickel features a classic portrayal of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his beloved home, Monticello, on the reverse. While millions of these coins were minted, it's essential to remember that rarity isn't solely determined by mintage numbers. So, what sets the $48,000 version apart? Well, it's all about those tiny details. Variations in the strike, errors during the minting process, or unique characteristics can elevate a seemingly ordinary coin into a numismatic treasure. 
Now, let's journey back in time and explore the history behind the 2008 Jefferson Nickel. Released as part of the Westward Journey series, this coin commemorates the bicentennial of the Louisiana Purchase and the Lewis and Clark Expedition. This series not only celebrates a pivotal moment in American history but also showcases the beauty of numismatic artistry. Each coin tells a story, connecting us to our past in a tangible and captivating way. But what about the everyday value of the 2008 Jefferson Nickel? While not every coin will fetch a small fortune, that doesn't diminish its worth. Even in circulated condition, these coins hold intrinsic value as a piece of American heritage. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a curious novice, the 2008 Jefferson Nickel offers something for everyone. So, next time you come across one of these coins in your pocket change, take a moment to appreciate its significance. And there you have it, folks. The 2008 Jefferson Nickel, a coin steeped in history, brimming with value, and perhaps, worth more than meets the eye. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics to explore the story behind a seemingly ordinary coin, the 1965 Lincoln penny. But wait, there's a twist. Did you know that some of these pennies are worth a whopping $10,000? That's right, folks. Get ready for an exciting journey as we uncover the history, value, and secrets of the 1965 Lincoln penny. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our cointastic content. First, let's rewind to 1965, a pivotal year in American history. The Vietnam War was escalating, the civil rights movement was in full swing, and amidst all this, the U.S. Mint was quietly producing millions of Lincoln pennies. Little did they know, some of these coins would become incredibly valuable decades later. Imagine the bustling mint, machines clinking and clanking as they churn out countless pennies. Among them, the 1965 Lincoln penny stood out for a special reason. You see, in 1965, the U.S. Mint transitioned from using 90% silver in coins to a more cost-effective copper nickel composition. However, a small number of 1965 pennies were accidentally struck with 90% silver planchets intended for dimes. This error is what makes these pennies so rare and valuable. Finding a 1965 Lincoln penny struck on a silver planchet is like finding a needle in a haystack. These coins are incredibly scarce, with estimates suggesting that only a few dozen may exist. So, just how valuable are these elusive coins? Well, brace yourselves, because some lucky individuals have sold their 1965 silver Lincoln pennies for upwards of $10,000. I couldn't believe my luck when I stumbled upon one of these pennies in my collection. It's like hitting the jackpot. I've been collecting coins for years and finding a 1965 silver Lincoln penny was the highlight of my numismatic journey. In conclusion, the 1965 Lincoln penny may seem like just another coin, but for a lucky few, it's a ticket to financial windfall. So, next time you're sorting through your loose change, keep an eye out for this hidden treasure. Thanks for joining us on this coin adventure. Don't forget to like, share, and comment below with your own coin stories. Until next time, Happy hunting! Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of numismatics to explore the story behind one of the most sought-after coins in history, the 1966 Lincoln Penny. Hello, everyone. I'm thrilled to have you join me on this journey. Now, you might be wondering, what makes the 1966 Lincoln Penny so special? Well, let's find out together. This seemingly ordinary penny holds extraordinary value with some specimens fetching an astonishing $99,000. But why is that? The year 1966 marked a significant milestone in the history of coinage. It was during this time that the United States Mint was transitioning from traditional minting techniques to modern methods, which inadvertently led to a unique error in the production of the Lincoln penny. You see, during the minting process, a small number of pennies were struck on 90% silver planchets intended for dimes. This error resulted in a limited number of 1966 Lincoln pennies being minted with a silver composition, making them exceptionally rare and valuable to collectors. But that's not all. Beyond its composition, 
the 1966 Lincoln Penny boasts a rich history that adds to its allure. As a part of the iconic Lincoln Cent series, this coin pays homage to one of America's greatest presidents, Abraham Lincoln, immortalizing his legacy in numismatic form. Over the years, collectors and enthusiasts alike have been captivated by the mystique of this coin, driving up its value and making it a prized possession in any collection. The 1966 Lincoln Penny is truly a marvel in the world of coin collecting. Its rarity, combined with its historical significance, makes it a must-have for any serious collector. Owning one of these coins is like owning a piece of history. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or just beginning your numismatic journey, the 1966 Lincoln Penny is a coin worth exploring. Who knows? You might just uncover a hidden treasure right in your pocket. Thank you for joining me today, and until next time, happy collecting!